worst things you can do is have regret. Okay? I talk to people, they regret the way they were brought up, they regret their life before, they regret that they didn't have this or that, and <clears throat> what it does is it causes depression. So don't feel regret. I'm going to talk a little bit about myself. Hell, I'm my favorite, favorite subject, so don't mind me. Bear with me, if you will. I grew up hard. Up until the age of about 14, maybe 15, I had a pretty good life. <clears throat> I was fishing, doing all kinds of stuff in the field. Then at 14, my dad said, well, you know what, Bob? Time for you to go to work. So I caddy. Uh, probably some of the most miserable work I did, all right? I mean, it was horrible. I dealt with some really awful people. Actually, for the most part, they were awful people for the most part. Anyway, my mom had developed multiple sclerosis. We weren't sure what it was, but <clears throat> she was afraid of doctors. It was an old Italian thing. They were afraid of doctors back then. She wouldn't go to a doctor to see what it was. My dad had issues. My dad decided that he's going to go clean up. This is 16 years old now, okay? A couple of days, two days actually, before uh, Christmas, December 23rd, my dad went to the hospital to get rid of his issues. They weren't health issues, they were psychological issues. He was not supposed to die. I woke up 8 o'clock in the morning on December 23rd. And I knew this is all part of letting you know how my gifts have always been with me, even since I was a kid. Um, woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning, knowing he had passed away. I'm like, oh my God, okay? They called us at 8.30 to let us know my dad passed away unexpectedly. I actually got my driver's license that day, um, which helped me make the arrangements for him. I had to deal with everything. My Uncle Roger did come with me, but I was the one who had to do it. And that seems to be how things work out. I got my driver's license so I could get around, so I could do what I had to do. All right. From that point on in my life, it was tough. I was working three jobs. I mean, I graduated... <clears throat> with a D minus average, and I think that the teachers gave me that D minus to get the, me the hell out of the building because I was like a real crazy kid and I was working three jobs. Uh, didn't really have time for school. Um, I go right from school to one gas station, finish that at, at six and then go to another gas station, okay? And I, I, the second gas station with two different gas stations I went to. So I was working three different gas stations. And one, the first one I was doing some mechanical work changing tires, things like that. Anyhow, I could regret all that. I could regret that I did never got <clears throat> the opportunity, like, like so many I know, who parents um, had things that they could have, uh, you know, money, houses, things of that nature, give them a leg up uh, when they were starting out, get them into college. Um, I, I ended up going to college for uh, 15 minutes. I took Psych 101. Interesting story. I will tell you that story at some point, okay? I had the gifts. I thought I was a psychological savant. So as my life went away, <clears throat> went on, <clears throat> I could have regretted all that, but I didn't. What I realize now is that all that hard luck, all that difficult life prepared me and made me the man I am today. And you know what? I'm happy about being that man. I'm proud of being that man. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? I wasn't babied. I wasn't, I wasn't handed anything in my life. I had to work for almost everything. And to be honest with you, most of the people my generation did. That's probably why my generation is a little different than the new ones coming up. But to regret something in your life, to live with the regret that you didn't get what you felt as though you needed to get, felt as though... They gave you a leg up, gave you money, bought you a house, put down payment on a house, bought you a car, whatever it was. Didn't have that regret. I don't regret it. Because what it taught me is that whenever anything goes wrong, and things go wrong in this life, you don't fall on your knees, you collapse and crash and cry. What I do when things go wrong in my life, and they do go wrong, I just buckle down, figure out a way to get through it, and how to get past it. Yeah. <clears throat>
I'm proud of who I am. You should too. You should be proud of who you are. If you're not, fix it. But don't be a victim. Don't let people hold you down. Always get up, make things right, fix things, and get on with your life. Look at it as a challenge. Challenges can be fun. All right? So anyway, guys, that's it. Don't have regret. Worst thing you can do is have regret in life. Anyway, with that, always remain hopeful, never hopeless. Always be optimistic, never pessimistic. And please, please make your life a good one. You have no alternative. Remember, the way things are today doesn't mean that they're not going to change tomorrow. So things always change. So, again, be hopeful. Please subscribe to my page, like my, pay, like my video, and follow me. I really appreciate it. I need the help. Yeah, I am begging. I need help. I want, you to, I want a whole bunch of people to follow this thing. I don't know why. I just, just do. Okay? So I'm not above begging. Okay, guys, sorry, I digressed. I, I, obviously, I do these videos by the seat of my pants. They're not polished. They're not, you know, beautifully cut. They're not, they're just me on video. This is who I am. This is what you get when you contact me. Okay, guys, have a great day. Always, once again, always remain hopeful, never hopeless. Always be optimistic, never pessimistic. It doesn't pay to live your life like that. Bye for now. Thank you.